Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you some layering combinations that has gotten me my whole life these past couple of months. So if you want compliments on your fragrance, if you wanna smell better than everybody that is around you, if you want your man to be all over you like, damn girl, you smell mad good today, then this is the video for you. And then you need to watch, take some notes, and make sure you're paying attention, okay? Because these combinations right here are fire. I know I say it all the time, right? But a spade is a spade, they're fire, all right? So if you wanna know about these combinations, just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content, leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other, and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Y'all, somebody hit me the other day and was like, girl, I've been watching you since 2020. I just now realized I wasn't subscribed to your channel. I was like, really now, sis? You ain't realize that that button should have been gray, but it was red, like, come on now y'all like y'all gotta subscribe to the good girls channel y'all want my channel to grow y'all want the algorithm to push me out there well doing things like watching my videos leaving comments liking the video and subscribing to my channel all things are free 99 you ain't gotta spend no money that's gonna help my channel to grow now another sidebar i'm giving hip-hop Barbie, uh, Bora Bora meets the Bronx today because I have on my tropical top with this like tropical side swoop and my bamboo earrings that is on the website. They come in this circle style and also a square style. So yeah, it's given hip hop, Barbie, Bora Bora, Bronx girl style. <laughs> That's what I'm giving today, y'all. Okay, so some of these combinations, well, the majority of the combinations I came up with on my own because y'all know I be in the lab. And some of the combinations, actually a couple of the combinations I got from fellow YouTubers and I will share all of that with you. Now, I know a lot of y'all don't like layering, okay? And I feel like whenever I do these videos, I need to put out this disclaimer. You don't have to to layer okay it's not that you're layering because the fragrance is weak or whack i mean sometimes that is the case but it's not the case the majority of the time it's not the case with me like in any of these fragrances these fragrances can stand on their own but y'all i've been layering since 2021 and i can't stop okay it started off with body creams and shower gels like my shower routine and you know i've always done that but then it was like, okay, like, let me do a little body spray and some perfume. And then it's like, okay, let me do a little perfume on perfume. And then let me do a little perfume on perfume on perfume. <laughs> and now it's like, let me do a little perfume on perfume on perfume on perfume. Y'all, sometimes I'm layering like three to four fragrances. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> like, y'all, I have no idea who I am because I used to be that person to say, I'm not layering. I spent X amount of dollars on my fragrance. I want the fragrance to smell like what it is when I bought it. And that's all well and good. And if you feel like that still, sis, I feel you because I was there. But once you start to collect or not collect, I hate the word collect. But once you start to accumulate <laughs> a lot of fragrances, you start buying a lot of fragrances and your collection is growing and growing, you need to wear all those fragrances because they do have an expiration date after some time. You know what I mean? And you just want to create like different scents. You have three fragrances that you, you know, you're not going to typically wear like fragrances 10 times a day. So you might as well get to layering, spray all your fragrances, create your own juice, and that way you get to go through your fragrances, you're having a great time, you're creating amazing scents, people are smelling you from miles away. I mean, it's just a whole different experience. Once you start layering, you just ain't gonna go back, okay? Like they say, once you go black, you don't go back. That's true. <laughs> but once you start layering, I don't think you gonna go back because it is hard for me to wear one fragrance. I do wear one fragrance. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but for the majority of the time, if I'm going out, if I'm getting dressed, best believe I'm wearing two to three, sometimes even four fragrances. So let's just jump right in, okay? Because I know y'all probably like, okay, sis, wrap it up. <laughs> All right, so Lavishly Chi Chi here on YouTube. Hey, Chi Chi, shout out to you. 
she reviewed my fragrance with Navitus, Ambrosia Imperial. And at the end of her review, she shared some layering combinations that she got her whole life with, with this fragrance. So the, a couple that she shared, I've done that because I feel like a lot of times we all have the same type of nose sometimes. Like we kind of figure out what goes with what and we kind of, you know, figure out the same layering combinations. Like you've done it, I've done it. You know, nobody got it from anybody. We just happen to, you know, collectively feel the same about certain fragrances and we're putting them together. All right. Chi Chi, she said that she layered this with Tribeca by Bond Number no. 9. I never thought to do that. When she said it, I was like, damn, that sounds good. Like, why didn't I think to do that? As soon as she said it, I was like, sis, sis, say less. <laughs> Less is all you have to say because I just get it, y'all. I get the vibe. So let me tell you about Tribeca. And I'm not going to be reading you like all these notes because y'all are spoiled and y'all be wanting to hear all these damn notes. But in Tribeca, we have cacao, hazelnut, jasmine, cedar, caramel, and broxen and moss. In my fragrance, y'all know there's banana, there's dates, there's caramel, there's saffron, there's whipped cream, there's vanilla. So I was like, you know what? Like, that sounds like it makes a whole lot of sense. Y'all, when I did it, I was like, Chi Chi, <laughs> girl, you created magic, okay? This right here is freaking beautiful. I can't describe what it smells like, all right? Like, I'm, I, I can't tell y'all. It just smells like some type of a yummy gourmand dessert. And someone asked me how to layer, y'all, there's really no rules. Like you can either spray heavy, the you know, the heavier fragrance on the bottom and the lighter fragrance on top. You can spray one fragrance some places and then another fragrance other places that you didn't spray. It doesn't matter, just have fun. There's no rules. Whatever smells good to your nose, that is all you have to do. Y'all, these two right here, like honestly, first of all, like this smells so good. If you have these, like if you have my fragrance, if you have Tribeca, run, do not walk and layer the two. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. So the body cream, cause I'm not going to show y'all shower gels and scrubs. Cause we are going to be here like all day and we're all booked and busy. It's summertime. I want to be outside. Okay. So the body cream that I layered it with is the ultimate hydration body cream in the scent midnight amber glow from bath and body works now this is no longer in stores i'm not sure if it's online because i haven't been on the bath and body works site in a while i'm trying to be good and it's been working for me okay i don't plan to go on bath and body works until the fall so y'all could go on ahead and check and see if this is on a website um but i know it's not in stores it's actually discontinued so they may bring it back during a sale or something i'm not sure but if you have this go on ahead and use it with your Tribeca and Ambrosia Imperial, y'all. It was so good, it was nasty. It was so good, it was nasty. Like this right here is the bomb, okay? I didn't spend a whole lot of time on this one. And yeah, we got a time crunch. <laughs> All right, y'all. So another fragrance that I layered with my fragrance with Navitus is by BDK and it's Tabac Rose. So this is a vanilla, not a vanilla, well, I mean, there is vanilla in here, but it's basically a rose and chocolate fragrance. It's a very woody, spicy rose and chocolate fragrance. Y'all, it smells amazing. I typically only wear this in the fall, but something told me, try to layer this with ambrosia. And I listened and I got my life, like period. Y'all, it's like a chocolate covered spicy banana, but not too heavy for now because I did it the other day. Honestly, it hasn't been that hot here. So I was able to get away with this one night. And honestly, I wear fragrances like this at night. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Like I wear my fall, not all of them, but I wear a lot of fall fragrances at night because I'm in a temperature controlled environment. It's cool, it's AC, I'm in a car, I'm in a restaurant, it's always cold, so it's fine. I'm not wearing it like outside in the park or to brunch in the daytime. So, you know, you gotta kind of decipher when you can wear certain fragrances, but I layer these two and got my life. It's like a rosy chocolate covered, banana but spicy like it was just everything y'all these two are amazing i will link everything you can save 20 percent if this is in stock on soavantgarde.com do not sleep i don't think it's a safe blind buy 
mm, I'm gonna just tell y'all, I don't think it's safe. It's an acquired scent, but I love it. Let me tell y'all the notes. It opens up with pink pepper. There's plum, lemon, Turkish rose, cinnamon, chocolate, tobacco, patchouli, and labdanum. Y'all, this is everything, okay? Super sexy, super unique. It's just so different. And like I said, I usually wear it in the fall, but layered with ambrosia, I got my whole life. Chocolate covered bananas. It is everything, okay? So the last fragrance that I layered with ambrosia is by Fragrance Du Bois. And it is Oud Orange Intense. Y'all, I don't have a favorite because the Tribeca gave me my life. The Tabac Rose with this gave me my life. And this also gave me my life, okay? So in Oud Orange, we have fruity notes. There's coconut. There's bourbon vanilla, vanilla, uh, agarwood oud, and musk. It's not a strong, heavy, oudy fragrance, but you do smell the oud. So if you're someone who's not like used to oud, or if you, oh my God, ooh, it's so sexy. Y'all, this is so sexy to me. Oh my goodness, this is everything. Another one that I typically wouldn't wear in the summer, but because I wanted to add a little sweetness, little gourmands, little vanilla, little caramel, these two are everything. A couple of you have told me in the past that you've ordered this fragrance and you do like it, but you're struggling with it because it leans kind of unisex. This is a unisex scent in my opinion, but not too masculine. Like I don't think it's masculine. I just think it's sexy. I just think it's super sexy. And with this one right here, it just sweetens it up and it just becomes this citrusy, oody, sexy, spicy vibe of luxe. Like it just smells luxe. It smells expensive. It smells super rich. Like this right here is a sexy date night. Okay. I'm telling y'all, this gave me my whole life. As you can see by my dent, I love this fragrance. Okay. Like I play no games. This fragrance is everything. I don't talk about it a lot because I don't think it's for everybody. And I know a lot of y'all be funny style sometimes, child. So I got to really tread lightly with y'all because y'all be like, oh, that's my masculine, sis. And I'm like, I don't think it does. But all right, to each his own. All right, so the next combination, I did this in a vlog when I met Kiko Beauty and Ev here on YouTube. And I got my life. I love this. Creme de Cure by BDK and Angel, not my Angel Share. Apple Brandy on a Rocks by Killian. I have no idea why it's so hard for me to remember the name of this fragrance. And I wear this fragrance, okay? Look at my dent in this fragrance. It's literally almost done. This fragrance is one that you just wanna spray. I love how this smells. So this is a pineapple fragrance. This has pineapple and suede. Um, what are the other notes in this fragrance? Cause I know y'all wanna know. Y'all just can't take the layering and just keep it pushing. So in Creme de Cure, we have pink pepper, pineapple, uh, bergamot, sandalwood, suede, vanilla, leather accord, birch, and musk. Y'all, the pineapple in this fragrance, it's not super sweet. It's more fresh, but oh my goodness, another one that smells so luxe. It's like luxe and creamy. You smell the pineapple, like you do smell it, but it, it, has, a, it has more depth to it but not too extra. Like it's still kind of smooth at the same time. This is so freaking beautiful, y'all. It's not a lot. Here's the thing with this fragrance, it's hard for me to describe it because like I said, it smells super expensive. It smells super rich, but it doesn't smell like it's doing too much. Like I feel like this can be an everyday scent. Like I've worn this just running errands when I just wanna smell good, but I'm, you know, really cute that day. Like I'm not just wearing a like a raggedy old t-shirt. So, you know, you can wear it just on its own as a regular fragrance, but when you layer it with Apple Brandy on the rocks, another pineapple fragrance, and this has some um, booze in it too. Let me see. Apple Brandy has rum, there's pineapple, there's vanilla, there's apple, there's brandy, there's moss, and broxen and cedar. So let me tell y'all, cause a lot of y'all be scared of those um, like rum notes and like brandy and everything. This fragrance is so light and airy. The juice is super light as you can see. It's such an easy fragrance. It is unisex, I guess. It's not a feminine like 
super feminine, frou-frou, la-la type of fragrance. But it doesn't lean masculine to me. But I guess I can see a man wearing it. I can, I can possibly see a man wearing it. But it doesn't smell masculine to me whatsoever. So these two right here are super fresh. Kind of sweet. Not too sweet. Not cloying or anything like that. Like I feel like the other routines that i just shared with y'all like those are much sweeter this is more on your fresh side it's more spicy like fresh spicy not like deep spicy or anything like that i love okay now the next combination oh and i forgot to tell y'all i layered it with the hemp sweet pineapple and honey melon body cream okay I'm gonna try to remember to share y'all, share with y'all the lotions because sometimes I forget. Oh, and then when I did the ambrosia and tobacco rose, I did it with this Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower body cream. I could have done it with the pineapple. Could I have done it with pineapple? Yes, because there's no. I couldn't have done it with pineapple, but anyway, I did it with this. But I could have done it with this one. The banana. I did this also with the Oud Orange in my fragrance. I used the banana cream, the banana, sugared banana by Hemp's. And then with the one that I just shared with y'all, I did the Bahamas Passion Fruit and um, Banana Flower. All right, y'all. So the next combination is featuring Tiziana Terenzi to bit. Love this. Y'all know it's peach. It's coconut, warm sand. It's kind of tropical. It's musky. It's ambery. It's sexy. I mean, I'm not going to talk about this too long because I've been speaking about this since 2020. It was actually my first YouTube video. So we ain't going to spend too much time on this fragrance right here. Y'all already know. Okay. Get you some Tizzy. <laughs> okay. Now I layered it with Bon Bon Pop by the House of Oud. Look at these two bottles together. They're such ornate, beautiful, gorgeous, like show pieces in my hands. Love it. Now, this has a lot of the same notes as Tibet. Let me see if I can find these notes for you. In Bon Bon Pop, we have peach, coconut, bergamot, jasmine, patchouli, musk, brown sugar, precious woods, and amber. A lot of the notes that's in this fragrance right here but this fragrance has more of a presence Tibet definitely has more of a presence this is cute she's really cute but i feel like when you layer her with other fragrances that's when she comes alive because otherwise it's a nice fragrance on its own it's pretty on its own but it's nothing that's like grabbing me like i want you to grab me like snatch me you know what i'm saying hold me up so she wasn't doing that. So I feel like when I layered it with Tibet, it gave me my whole life. You can save 20% on eat both of these fragrances on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, the great 20 Now, another fragrance that I layered with Tibet, and I think I shared this with y'all maybe like at the beginning of the year sometime. I'm not sure, but I think I told y'all. Jimmy Choo, I want you. I love these together. This is cute in the house, going to bed, you took a shower in the evening, it's like a movie night, you're on a couch watching TV and just wanna smell good. That's what this fragrance is. This fragrance is a nice, easy reach. It's, you're running errands, going to the grocery store, post office, whatever. Not doing too much, but you smell really good. Now, if you wanna amp it up and you wanna take it to like a date night or take it to brunch or something like that, Tub It by Tiziana Terenzi and these two. It's basically like, a peach dream okay like that's what i call it it's sweet this sweetens up to bit because although to bit is sweet it's a lot going on with this fragrance okay so this kind of like tames the beast but then this just amps this one up i love them together okay so to bit and i want you got my whole entire life now let's see oh oh this one right here Ooh, okay, so let me get it all out because I've got so much stuff on this table, y'all. Okay, so I did my Kama Sutra um, body cream and I also did my oil. Well, I did my oil first and then my body cream. Y'all know I love this. It's a fruity rose. It is gorgeous, okay? Like this right here is the scent of all scents. It's the rose fragrance that 
you didn't know you needed. Even if you don't like roles, you need this, okay? I'm telling you, you don't know you need it. I'm here to tell you that you need it. This right here is addictive. It's always sold out for a reason, okay? Because it is amazing. Do not think twice. You can use my discount code. I think it's AI the Great 10. I'm gonna link it down below and you can save 10%. You need this, okay? It is incredible. Like I said, whether you love rose or not, this is for anybody that just loves to smell good, period. It's a fruity rose. It smells incredible. I'm obsessed. Okay, so I did my Kama Sutra, which I love, and then I did the new Black Opium. Y'all, this one I'm gonna have to tell y'all the notes because this is fairly new to my collection, but I'm obsessed. Okay, y'all, first of all, if you don't love black opium, and I know a lot of y'all watching this here channel don't love black opium, y'all stay as basic. Y'all got a lot to say about the good girl black opium, but this one right here is everything, y'all. If you love vanilla, you will absolutely love this. The cap is so hard. Ooh. The cap is so hard, but this right here, y'all, oh, ooh. It's vanilla, okay? Like vanilla. It's not brown sugar vanilla. It's not um, like vanilla extract. It is vanilla. What it kind of smells like to me is Noir Parfum by, by Tom Ford. I believe that's discontinued now. But if you used to love that or if you love that, you will absolutely love this because they're very similar. I'm telling you. So I layered it with a Trap Rev by Louis Vuitton. Actually, let me do a little bit of something right here, right now. Let me spray that. Although I did it with Kama Sutra, so that was underneath. And just adding that extra fruity, sweet, jammy rose and a Trap Rev. Now, listen to me. I love a Trap Rev, okay? This is one of the crowd's favorites from Louis Vuitton. A lot of people speak about this. A lot of people own this. I mean, I own it. I love it. But I feel like whenever I wear it, it's missing something. It's missing that little oomph. This vanilla, this fruity, jammy rose paired with a Trap Rev. Like, they all just work so beautiful together. This scent right here is so pretty it's feminine it's sweet it's not unisex at all so if you don't like unisex scents then try to do these if you have this combination right here but don't try to sneak and do it with the original black opium like oh i don't have the um lay parfum i'm gonna do it with the original because you ain't gonna get this okay because it smells different to me honestly i feel like when it comes to ysl i'm gonna just always get the lay parfum because the Le Parfum seems to be the better scent, in my opinion. I have YSL Libre. I have all of them, except for the EDT. And I love them. But the Le Parfum just does it for me. It has saffron. It's more sexy. I feel like it has more depth. It smells more unique, in my opinion. And just like the Le Parfum with this. If you love vanilla, go on ahead and get this, okay? And like I said, a Trap Rev is pretty. She's a pretty scent on her own. She's giving, like, floral dress, running through a garden with a straw hat on running to like a beautiful picnic like a chic picnic on the grass with a charcuterie board that's what this fragrance gives me but when you add the black opium and of course the kama sutra it just gives sexy date night period because i typically wouldn't wear this on a sexy date night like on its own it's not that for me pretty scent but it's not giving me that but layered with these two got my whole entire life okay so if you love rose if you love sweet you'll love this oh that was good mm. it even smells good on its own without the kama sutra but y'all i'm telling you the kama sutra just added that extra sweetness that was giving me my life if y'all watch simply aisha here on youtube she i watch her videos all the time i've been watching her forever so she was doing like a layering combinations video and i had her playing in the background while i was doing something i might have been cleaning perfume bottles or organizing i don't know i was doing something and i wasn't really watching the video but it was playing in the background but i didn't hear anything she said but then i heard a creamy like a sexy creamy uh strawberry milkshake and i was like strawberry milkshake what's she talking about so i went to the video went to my phone and just rewound that part and saw that she was talking about blanche bet 
and Burberry Her. This is the Burberry Her, the ED, uh, P, the Eau de Parfum. Love it. So I was like, hmm, sexy milkshake, huh? I want to smell like a sexy milkshake. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it one better because I actually have the Burberry Her Elixir, which y'all already know. I tell y'all that it gives me like a strawberry pound cake, like a strawberry dessert type of vibe. So I did it with Blanche Bet. Y'all, Aisha ain't lie. She did not lie. Although I didn't do it with the one that she did it with. I mean, it's basically like the same type of vibe. This is even stronger. Y'all, Blanche Bet, this milky, creamy, lactonic fragrance with Burberry Her Elixir. Or you can do it with the Burberry Her EDP if you don't have the Elixir. Aisha did not lie. It is giving sexy strawberry milkshake. Y'all, this right here, OMG. I was like, damn, why did I think about that one? Like, this one is everything, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. As, oh, as if I needed a reason to love elixir and blanche bet anymore because y'all know i love these fragrances on their own like i mean you can't see my dent in here this is almost done can you see it um uh, not really <laughs> but y'all already know like look at my dent in here this is almost done like this should be done by the end of the summer like i'm gonna just stop playing with her and just wear her up and just you know put her to rest <laughs> at the end of this summer but y'all, if you want to smell like a strawberry milkshake, like a sexy strawberry milkshake, this right here is a vibe. Aisha did not lie. It is everything when I tell y'all. It's so creamy and it's perfect for like the summer day. Like honestly, like I said, it's not too hot up here, but it was like in the 70s. I wore it in the 70s and I was fine. Now, would I wear it on a super hot heat advisory day? Hmm, probably not but i can see this being worn in the fall i can see it being worn on cooler days or at night this is everything like this is everything i can't believe i didn't think about this one too dang all right so the last combination i want to share with y'all is by armani c and this is armani c intense the 2021 version and meliora by parfums and marley Y'all, I've been loving Meliora nowadays. I mean, I've always loved this fragrance, but I've been loving her more now because y'all know when it comes to Parfums de Marley, everybody's always talking about Delina or Oriana or even Valaya. Nobody really talks about Meliora except for my girl Kiko Beauty. She loves this fragrance. It's one of her favorite fragrances. But other than Kiko, like I don't think I've seen anybody speak about Meliora. This fragrance is beautiful. It's a fruity vanilla fragrance. It has black currant, there's berries. It dries down to a sweet fruity vanilla. It is everything. This is black currant syrup, patchouli, another one, super sweet, okay? This one right here is super, super sweet. It's typically a fall fragrance for me, but something told me I wanna smell like black currant. Like I wanna bring out the black currant. These two are a whole vibe. I did this layering combination like, four days not in a row but i definitely did it at least four times in the month because it smells so good look at my dent in meliora like i've had this fragrance for two years or so <sighs> maybe a little over two years but this is the time that i've created this dent like within this month right here or these couple of months i've created this dent in this fragrance because it is so beautiful i love it on its own it's super pretty feminine but layered with the c intense y'all i got my whole entire life okay now i think i'm done right yes i think y'all the table is is tabling <laughs> So leave it in the comments below and let me know what combinations have y'all been cooking up in y'all's lab. I want to know because sometimes y'all, when y'all tell me these combinations and I try them and I'm just like, OMG, like they're so fire and I'm actually doing them. Okay. So leave it in the comments below and let's share. Let's not gatekeep. Remember guys to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.